So in our last video, we had a look at adding master sources into legacy. And in this video, we're actually going to use one of those sources to record um, information or where we um, got information from. So um, just looking at this family file, we have got Dennis Charles Harkin here in front of us. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in some information that I am uh, using from the 1901 census of Ireland. So I'll uh, go ahead here and uh, bring up the record here. So this is the actual record of the transcription of it. We can access the image down here, but it's already written up here. So I'll uh, take the information from here directly. So as you can see here, I have done this. Um, age 16 or age 65 in the 1901 census but I don't have any birth um, information for him here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as an estimate of when he was born so 19, or 65 1901 gives him a, a date uh, of birth of about 1836 so I'm going to go ahead and type in about 18. 36 and obviously I, it doesn't give exactly where he was born but it does say that he was born in County Donegal so I can put in County Donegal I'm going to go ahead and type in County Donegal Ireland and now I have entered this information into Legacy and I would like to record that I got his name information and this birth information from the 1901 census. So what I'll do is I'll open the source citations using this um, icon here that looks like a, a little set of books. So once I click on that button, it gives a list of all the different um, f uh, fields and events that are, are in Legacy. So as you can see here, they're all blank as far as the sources. So what I'll do is I'm going to click on name. I'm going to click cite a master source. So once I've done that, it pops up the source list. And here we've got the two set sources that we added previously. And I'm going to click on the 1901 census of Ireland and select that since this is the one that we want to assign. So once that's done, it pro prompts me for source detail. So the source detail here is just the actual details from the, from the um, record. So it's narrowing the record down from the record source to the actual, to finding the actual record itself. So as you can see in this, um, Dennis was in the second house in Glebe. Count Donegal. You can also see up here there's the townland, the DED, and the county. So I'll go back here and the jurisdiction county was um, Donegal, but we don't have any information to, or any field to actually add in all that information that we had. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, um, to use my own format and put in all the way up to the information here. So I'm going to type in Glebe, Carndona, Donegal as the the townland, the, the DED and the county. And this was um, the number two on that. So I'll just put that in the page. Although you can try the dwelling if you prefer or family number you can see how it comes out here. So I think I like the page the best. So I'm just going to leave two here. And that's all the detail I'm going to going to uh, add. So you can see that from the actual set source itself, it's picked up 1901 Census of Ireland. But from our detail here, it's picking up Glebe, Cardona, Donegal, and page two. So when you're happy with this here, just click on the save button. Right. Now, it's warn the reason it's warning me here is that I haven't scrolled this bar down. As you can see, that I haven't looked at 
all the fields on the screen so I'll just click no and just have a look again so this is the other information so line id of person data accessed and so on i'm not going to fill any of that in but it shouldn't make legacy happy that i've actually looked down through that list so when i click save now it's now saved it so you can see the source list is here the detail is showing up here and it's also showing down here below so i'll just go through that again for the birth so i'm clicking on the birth and I'm clicking cite a master source and I'm selecting the 1901 census of Ireland now, so again I'm typing in the jurisdiction Glebe, Cairn Donut, Donegal and page number two and none of these I'm going to fill in click on save and now I have assigned that against the name and the birth so once I close this box clicking on this close button now you can see that the icon is now colored in indicating that the information has been stored it also colors in the field names where a source has been assigned so as you can see I put the source against two different fields there but um, I had to enter the details twice and if you, I was entering in all the people from this record they would all have the same source detail because they are all in house 2, Glebe, Cairndona, Donegal and it would be very annoying to have to enter it for each individual piece of information for each individual person. So. What I'll do is I'm going to use the source clipboard. So the source clipboard is basically like a copy and paste for sources and for source detail as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete those for or the delete the references, remove the references to the source from Dennis. So now I have no sources again. So in order to do the copy of the source, I use this little icon here. As you can hover over, you can see it says it opens the source clipboard. So whenever I click on that, it pops up this. So if you just read through the steps, it's easy to, to fill out. The first step you have to do is select your master source. So the, what a master source is, is just basically a, um, a kind of overall source that don't, wouldn't have the detail, for example, like the form number or the town land and so on. So I'm going to click on that and it's popped up the master source list and I'm selecting 1901 Census of Ireland. Once that's done, it's now prompting me for the details here instead of in a separate window. So I'll go ahead and type in Glebe, Cairn Donna, Donegal, page two. So that now is stored I'm once I click save. So as you can see now the, the icon is grey, there still are no sources assigned to Dennis. But these icons here now are available to use. So there's three icons. This the last one we won't be using. So I'll just look at these two. The first one, whenever I hold the mouse over it, it tells you what it does. It adds the clipboard source to the current field. So it's basically whichever field your cursor is flashing in. It's, if I click this, it will add that source to that field. So you can see now it's gone blue. The icon for the books has lit, lit up. And once I click it, you can see not only has it got the source, but it also has a detail that I copied and it's displaying it down here at the bottom. So I'll just show you again by doing the same for the birth field. I click in the birth field and I click on the, the one line button. This is now blue and whenever I click on the source list for this, now you can see it's also assigned to the birth. 
So again, I'm just going to remove this just so that I can show you the other button. The second button does the same thing, but you don't need to have clicked in one of these. Whenever you click this button, any field that has information on it, so you can see here, this is information on it. The born has about information on it, and this the died has a location. So what that will do is it'll assign the current source that we've copied into or against every piece of information that is on this screen. So and also down here in the events. So I'll click on this button. And so you can see now we've got blue here against the name, against the birth and against the death. And whenever I click on the icon for the sources, as you can see it appears on all three of these along with all the details. So it's a lot quicker way to do it. But be careful because I didn't actually get this death information from the 1901 census. Obviously he was alive in 1901. So that is wrong. So I'll just click on remove from from that piece of information. So if you're only storing one piece of information, then it might be best just to do it individually with this button. If you're entering in a brand new record for someone that you didn't have any information on before, and you were getting all your information from the 1901 census, in this case, say for example, then we can use this button here to sign it to everything that we have filled out. So that's how to use the clipboard. If I want to change the source that I'm using, all I have to do is click on the source clipboard again, which is the triangle button, and I can choose to change this information. So for example, if I change to another um, census, and I was adding or another census location and I was adding an, um, another person, then I could change this information. Or if I want to change to a different source, for example, to a church register, I can click on this and select the source. And as you can see now, it's asking Clamani and the uh, church register Clamani and the detail. For example, I can put in baptisms, book one, page 74 as an example. And now that is now stored in the source clipboard. And if I apply it to this, and I know obviously that this, um, this isn't appropriate for the death record, but just to show you. Now this is blue, and when I click on the button, 1901 census against the name and birth, but now against this death, the last um, the last thing that I put on the source clipboard, along with the detail, baptism book one, page 74. So that's not appropriate, I'll remove it from here. But that should give you um, a good idea of, of how you can change the sources. So I change back to 1901 census and type in whatever information that I need to. So hopefully um, that should be clear, but um, send me an email if you need any more clarifications on any of this uh, adding sources. Thanks.